Hi everyone, today we're going to review Phoebe Philo's part two of her debut collection. So part two just dropped this week and I have to say we're going to fly through all the different categories but if you're like me you will be underwhelmed. We're going to start with the bags of course and this is the medium kit kibosh bag. Simple, classic silhouette. It's very much Phoebe. It's got silver hardware, so for those of you who are always on the lookout for bags with silver hardware, you might be pleased. Almost all the bags I think I saw are silver in this collection. Here's the inside, it's suede. I mean, it looks nice, it's calf leather. I would be curious how heavy this bag is, but it is $5,300. And that's a lot of money for, you know, kind of a boring looking bag. Here's the smaller size. It looks more practical and manageable in this size. It will probably still hold a lot. Again, I don't know about the weight. It is suede lined. And this one is a little bit less in price. It is $4,300. So, I don't know. Is that worth $4,300? Hmm. Here's a different one. It's the bean bag. It's $4,000. Again, you see the silver hardware. It's got sort of that sort of teardrop or hobo kind of shape. The side silhouette is interesting. It kind of gapes open though, so I don't know how secure a bag like this is. And I feel like I've seen a lot of bags that look like this already. So I'm not exactly excited. Here's the interior. Now it comes in different colors. Here's the side again up close. The bottom is gonna be slimmer and thinner and just sort of pointy. So. The bag is not going to stand up on its own. Here's the olive color. I feel like olive is in. I had mentioned this in previous videos. Lots of olive, even from other brands. Also lots of chocolatey raisin brown from many different brands. And then you've got this one sort of random purple bag in the collection. It's called the Drive Bag. Don't know why it's called that. It's got this pronounced quilting and then these thin straps and then sort of like an old school little purse clasp as an opening. Here's the side, it's very triangular, it's very structured. This bag is $5,800, almost $6,000, I don't know. Here we've got the rouge color, it's this deep saturated red sort of wine color. And then we also have it in a black color. I mean, it's eye catching, but then after you look at it for like five seconds, I don't know, I'm over it. Here again is the olive color that we're seeing a lot all over the place. Now the next bag, I feel like I saw in her first drop, but anyway, this is the gig bag and it's got the whiskers. I don't love the whiskers, the long hanging strings, just like on the kit kibosh bags that I showed earlier. And it kind of reminds me of my Celine trio with the three compartments from old Celine, right? That's when I fell in love with Phoebe from old Celine. Oh, that bag was 3,500. This bag is the big XL kibosh bag. It's oversized. It's simple. It's got clean lines. I like it. I don't like the price. It's 8,500. <laughs> sort of laughable, actually. Nowadays, we have so many other brands that we can choose from that are doing this sort of minimal and uh, simple sort of aesthetic that Phoebe just doesn't stand out as much anymore. Back in the day before she left Celine, she was sort of a standout with her very practical, classic, streamlined silhouettes. This one here is 9,500. Then the chocolatey one back to 8,500. So we're talking almost five figures for a pretty bland looking bag. And I like, I like really simple bags, you guys know that. I don't like frills and extras, but this is a lot for what it is. Here's a toffee colored one with a suede black trim. All right, then we go on to clothes. Some of the clothes is like, mm, fine. Some of the other clothes, I'm like, okay, I expected this. It's very signature Celine. Now this is very military. It's got this sort of a utility vest look to it. You can see the prices. This is a short cropped bomber. It does absolutely nothing for me. Uh, this is a tailored blazer. This is what I mean by like, right, just, old Celine Phoebe. This is hideous. This is like a purple ostrich that died on your shoulders. This is gross. Um, okay, beautiful tailored suit, but you can get a tailored suit from really many other brands. So you don't have to go to Phoebe. There's nothing that's like, oh my gosh, this is so unique and beautiful and just 
you know, this leather jacket is interesting. It's almost $10,000 though. doesn't look like a $10,000 jacket. This coat is beautiful. The price on this was actually quite reasonable at $4,500. This again, another sort of ostrichy big bird dyed pink. Um, okay, classic blazer, fine. Some trousers. But you can see how I'm scrolling through the site. This is exactly the pace at which I was looking at the collection. It took me all of maybe five, 10 minutes to look at everything because I wasn't like, oh my gosh, you know, I didn't stop and I wasn't excited. This belt, by the way, is not for sale. I don't see it anywhere on the site. No belts are for sale on the site. I love this look, by the way. Let me just pause and say, this is probably my favorite look. It's so balanced and simple. But the belt, do you see that? This is the belt that I had been eyeing. It looks so much like the one I've been eyeing from Madewell. I know, and Madewell, is like 40 bucks. I was interested in the belt, but it's not available. I don't think it's a Phoebe design. I don't know why they showed it on the model. Anyway, let's keep going. Shirts. You see, nothing is like, wow, so amazing. It's just, eh. this is like a half Batman cape, but in silk. I'm not going to wear that anywhere. I don't know. Maybe it's your style. Mm, are you guys having fun? I have, I'm, I have fun critiquing this stuff because it's not serious business, right? I'm not hurting people's feelings, hopefully. Crisp white shirt, always a wardrobe staple. Uh, coming in at 1150. It's a lot for a shirt. So let's just keep going and going. And I want to show you some knitwear. The knitwear was boring in her first drop. It's also boring here. It might be the same stuff. It looks like you can pick up very similar looking pieces from Uniqlo for a fraction of the price. And I didn't see that she was using any kind of special amazing materials. All right, this is the platypus boot. I'm calling it the platypus boot. I mean, it's got the square toe. It can be cute, but it can also look really weird. You have to style it a certain way. It's probably not that versatile. Here's a patent rouge color. These ankle boots are $1,450, okay? comes in this fringy look as well for 1900 but it's different this is not an ankle boot this is some kind of high heel open heel very impractical i'm going to trip over my own fringes and my heel's going to pop out kind of thing here are some loafers i think i saw something very similar in the first part of her collection so i don't know what has changed they're healed they are no surprise they kind of look preppy and very phoebe like here are the soft flats if you're looking for a flat this looks really comfortable i cannot do flats like these like ballet flats because i have high arches and my gosh i need support these are 900 dollars. the loafers i showed you before were 1400 okay and these soft flats come in different colors including white depending on your foot shape you might see some toe cleavage with those here we've got a necklace that is just sterling silver a little ball like an easter egg inside of a mesh net it's twenty two hundred dollars and it's silver this <laughs> this has to be my favorite piece favorite in that i love to hate it <laughs> because it's a scarf who's gonna wear this it's a silk satin scarf and it's two thousand dollars then we've got some sunglasses you know nothing wild and crazy here all kind of predictable ranging from 450 dollars to about 750 dollars you've got some big ones you've got some angled slimmer ones fine i don't know i don't particularly get excited about sunglasses they're very personal they have to fit your face this this was in her first drop the mum necklace it's silver again it's just plain old silver it's $4,500 and the gold plated one, this is not solid gold, it's gold plated over sterling silver. This one is $5,000. The heck? Then you've got this one also gold plated for, I don't know, I think it was like $1,000 or something, $900. There you go. And then you've got these. You can get jewelry like this from Amazon for like 20 bucks. So anyway, <laughs> I had to show this one more time. What the heck is this? Is it just a statement piece? Like what? Even the model looks like, get this thing off of me. Do you see the model's face? And you got to pay $2,000 to own it? No, thank you. That's it. I flew through. I probably missed a few pieces. There was a bucket hat somewhere. But yeah, I'm moving on. I guess old Phoebe is not the Phoebe that is of today because nothing's calling me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.